Hello lovelies, we are talking about five different things that are ruining your outfit and how to fix them. They're extremely common. I am guilty of absolutely all of them, but I have little hacks and tricks that I can't wait to share with you because I think that they're gonna completely transform the way you get dressed in the morning and the way that you get ready and feel really nice and polished, especially as we head into the fall winter season. So the first fashion mistake that you're doing and how to fix it is that you're tucking in your shirts wrong or you're trying to hack it and it's not comfortable. And what I mean by that is sometimes we have a nice pair of trousers that's a little bit thin. For example, I have these really beautiful pair of Lily Silk trousers that made of silk so they're thinner, very temperate, love them. However, it's a little challenging to tuck them in because of the material. And the same is true of slip skirts and slip skirts have been really relevant now for a long time. So I bet you that you have a slip skirt in your closet at this moment in time. And now with the fall and winter season coming, we're, we're gonna start to tuck a lot of thicker knits and different sweaters and things and sweatshirts into our trousers or into our slip skirts and sometimes that can create really unflattering bulk, create more volume, and have really ugly creases that just ruins your overall elegant look. One of the ways that we've been hacking this problem previously has been tucking it into our bra and just hoping that it stays up. And sometimes it just doesn't. So it starts to slip down, or you're feeling like it's not, it's a little bit lopsided, like one side does stay in the bra, one doesn't. So this is the solution to this problem. It's an elastic band that you can get on Amazon. I got a pack of four for $10 that comes in four different colorways. This is the chocolate brown one, there's a black one, there's a navy, there's all sorts of assortment that you can pick from. And it just does a trick because instead of tucking it in or making do with a bigger chunkier belt, you can just wear the elastic band around your waist and have that be what holds up your sweatshirt, your sweater, or your chunky knit and drapes beautifully over your trousers or slip skirt. Now, not only does it solve the tucking problem, but I feel like if you're pear shape or hourglass like me, if I don't waste my looks, I tend to look really, not only just wide, but frumpy. I look, I kind of just look a little bit disheveled. So anytime I can waste my looks, it helps me out. And I know it helps a lot of you guys out as well. It really is transformative. Now, if you don't want to spend the $10 on Amazon, cause sometimes you just don't. Then the other way that I did before I got these was I would, I just put two bra straps together and I hook them, you know, the ones that are removable from your bra. You can just take it off and put the hooks together, create your own elastic band. And that's a little bit of a hack, but this just kind of solved my problem and it's really affordable. The second one I am so excited about because I have this problem all of the time. First of all, I don't have a big chest on a really good day. I'm a B. Most of the time go between A and B. It's a little frustrating. But it doesn't matter how big you are, sometimes you just don't, wait, sorry, this, so, speaking of, sometimes you have these dresses and different pieces that for whatever reason, just like open up. And so you're like, okay, I'll sew it together or I'll use a safety pin, which is the worst. It just always reminds me of being a baby with a diaper when I have a safety pin kind of like tucked away, but no more diaper look. Can, now we can use a retail stitcher that literally has transformed my wardrobe because now I can wear so many other things that I haven't been kind of putting off because I'm like, oh, it's a dress that I, like I just kind of do this all night and like, and I'm always wondering if my bra's sticking out or if I'm showing, you know, some other things. Like I don't want to deal with it. The other way that it comes in handy is like sometimes you have something a little bit involved, like maybe for like evening wear or an occasion dress. And it's like, you just need a little help in like having it like hold something. You can just bring this in and just staple yourself. It's not really a staple. Stitch yourself in and it will hold the garment for you securely. And now the one that I got here, this is $19. I'm really happy with it. It has comes with the black and white uh, plastic stitchers. I'll make sure to link below in the description, different options for different plastic thing, thingies that you might be able to use. Other way that I'm really excited to wear this in the fall, I'm excited to be able to secure some of my scarf styles in place. Sometimes when I have something a little bit fancy or I make a little flower or I have a certain type of scarf style that I really want it to keep. Material tends to be a little bit soft and silky and satiny, um, even if it's not real silk. So this will help hold the scarf together. Really great thing to do if you don't want wardrobe malfunctions, if you have some pieces that you avoid because you don't wear, but you still really like them. When you're done with the night, when you want to get undressed, when you need to take off the look, or if you want to be a little bit less demure, and by the way, what is up with demure? 
why do we always have to have like a word? So depending on your level of demure, once you're done with that, you can just snip it with scissors and you're done, no damage to the material and you can carry on with your life. I'm Ziva and if you're new here, a very warm welcome. I cover fashion and styling videos, mom of two, fashion stylist, hosted Paris in New York Fashion Week for years with FNL Network, interviewing celebrities, front row people, designers, models, you name it. Have been in the thick of the fashion world, but I'm also just a mom who needs to look good, like. 40% of the time and get out of the door in the morning. So if that sounds good to you, make sure you hit the subscribe button. This has already changed my life because I literally spend, I would say 10% of my free time steaming clothes. And I usually try to multitask when I'm doing this. I call my mom, I listen to podcasts. I like try to learn a different language sometimes it doesn't always work i spend so much time steaming and ironing clothes that it's almost embarrassing this thing it has cut it down so much to steamer iron and it just it kind of reminds me i should probably try it with my hair too but it just steams everything out i would say in a quarter of the time that it usually takes me which is huge when you know you're trying to get out in the morning and you're just like ah it's wrinkled i need to get out this is a total game changer also i have a discount code for this they sent me this because they see that i'm always talking about steaming your clothes on my instagram post check out my instagram i just give a lot of daily tips and tricks and hacks for fashion not just like an everyday outfit but really try to focus on different quick and easy bite size tips that you can kind of take with you. And one of the things that I talk about very often is how much making that extra effort to really make sure your clothes are nice and crisp just gives you so much, even if your clothes are not expensive, even if your outfit isn't like amazing, if you're nice and pressed, then it makes a big difference. If you struggle like this and you just want something to quickly help you out with your clothes, especially when you're traveling and the travel irons and steams are always so bad. I travel a lot and I always struggle with this because sometimes I'm like, these don't work. So I'm very happy to experiment with this. If you love travel content, make sure to check out my series on what I wore um, in different places. I travel a lot and I recently started a series where I'm sharing what I wear in the different places that I go to. Sometimes it's difficult to know what to pack. And then I also give you little tips about kind of what I learned on my journey there because there's always some travel lessons and things that I wish I would have done differently. One thing that ruins your outfit is wet hair. I heard today's just blown out and didn't do anything super fancy with it but most of the time i'm the kind of person that literally i leave my hair to air dry for a whole day and i don't bother with it because i feel like i don't have a good solution for dryers I pay so much attention to my outfit and i'm pouring over ideas and how to like look better and covering all you know what's going on in the fashion world, things like that. And then my hair is such an afterthought. My hair, sometimes my makeup too. So I'm trying to get better at it. So A, it doesn't distract my outfit. And I also have really long hair, which I have gotten a lot of comments about, opinions about the length of my hair. But if you struggle like me and you don't like to do your hair, I recently got a T3 blow dryer. It's a 360 solution that has changed the way that I blow dry my hair. It really... Like I used to dry it. I used to not blow dry my hair whatsoever. I used to just let it air dry. And then because there's a whole decision and then once it air dries, it doesn't look good. So then the next day is when I could style it. I couldn't even style it the same day because it was damp and, and wet for most of the day. So kind of a disaster. If you struggle with blow drying hair, this would blow dry my hair so quickly. And then it also has little tools and attachments, four different ones as a matter of fact, where you can choose how you want to style and dry your hair. So I never got a Dyson because I just thought it was too expensive. And some of my friends who are stylists said to me, it's like overhyped, it's overmarketed, it's really not worth the money. So for that reason, <laughs> I was out. This is a really good alternative that is so much less expensive. For today, I grabbed the attachment. You can actually curl your hair while you're bl blow drying it, which is amazing. Again, I've always had to choose, do I dry my hair? Do I curl my, like just literally, just ran it through like that. It took me maybe like 15 minutes, which for me and the amount of hair that I have usually takes me a long, long time. So I'm really happy with it. If you are looking for a way to style your hair, especially when it's wet and you're kind of like in a rush, then check it out. It comes with a four different attachment. One of them is just a power dryer. The other one is an actual brush that is like untangling and drawing at the same time. It gives you a very nice, polished, like shiny look. And blowouts are extremely trendy right now because of how much elegance and classic style, quiet luxury is still very much in the picture. 
I just mentioned in here. <laughs> now the last thing that ruins your outfit, unfortunately, is the hardest to fix, but it's the only thing that's free to fix. And that is your posture. When you have bad posture, it doesn't matter what you're wearing. It doesn't matter if you spent $7,000 on your outfit. It just doesn't look good. It doesn't happen overnight, but having some kind of practice where you think about sitting straight. There's a lot of different gadgets right now. I think there's a bra that, you know, kind of keeps you up straight. There's also like a little device that I used maybe like three or four years ago um, that would kind of like do a little vibration every time I started to go like that. I think it was like during COVID, I, I just got so used to working like this. I was used to being so active and teaching fitness at my studio for so long. And suddenly I just was so sedentary. And so my posture just started going like this and it would just kind of like shock me into doing this. Um, not like electrocution, but just like little vibrations. And it really works. So there's a lot of different tools out there that can help you. If you don't want to spend the money, it is free just to work on your actual posture and to, you know, the simplest thing you can do really is, I'm just gonna grab this sweater. Just grab something like this and go like, and start doing this. This is half of the battle is opening up your chest and having mobility like right around here, opening up the chest like that. And I recently posted a little tidbit about this on Instagram and right away I got somebody saying, oh, well, you know, this is terrible. Like some people can't stand up straight because of medical reasons. Of course, I mean, I, I'm speaking generally, like if you have no medical reason to not stand up straight, then I think not only will you look better if you do stand up straight with your outfits and the way that you look, but over time as you age, you will become a rocking senior citizen if you can hold on and retain the mobility in your posture and like your upper body. Link the video below that I have shared before about how to work on your posture and little exercises that you can do that don't take a lot of time, but that make a big, big difference. But if you don't wanna do any of that, the best thing you can do, and I and I tell my husband this all the time, I'm like just stand up straight, like just, it's like gotta be, and I can see him like sometimes like thinking about it because it becomes second nature. You're like, oh right, I'm not breathing correctly. I'm not even getting enough oxygen because I'm sitting here like this. I look frumpy, my outfit doesn't look good, I don't look confident. And looking and feeling confident is the secret sauce to looking your most stylish, most chicest self. Um, all of it doesn't matter if you don't have that confidence and you don't have that, that presence. You can do all the hacks, you can wear the best, most stylish things, it doesn't matter if you are not standing up straight, you don't feel confident. And my how to style fashion trends from your closet is a really great video if you really wanna dig in and figure out what pieces do I want to pull out this fall that are trending and I don't have to buy anything, like that's the video for you. If you have fun with me today, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I hope to see you really soon.